What's up guys, the guy Rossery here, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquest of a Dark Lord Episode 1, Tides of Fate. In the last episode, we started the endgame content, which is called Nightmare Vision, and we are on the third floor of this nightmare, so let's go ahead and progress. His will shall move the earth, for his powers are many. Most cure. Oh, okay, I see. There appears to be no exit. Hmm. So, am I stuck here? No. Okay. So, prisoner, it appears you have finally reached the end of your crimes. Interesting. I wonder what sort of parable is to be sought here. Silence. Nothing you say will release you from that cell. I remember this. The only way you are getting out of here is when a guard sweeps up your remains. It seems I am witnessing an event in, of the past. A man who stood here was a notorious rapist who had eluded capture for so long. <clears throat> I could leave you here to rot until those so there's not but moldy old bones in this cell but your sentence is death whatever it is convenient for me your begging disgusts me what mercy shall I offer chattel like you or cattle like you or however that's supposed to be pronounced the same mercy you showed to your victims perhaps I am to be told I was too harsh should I have shown mercy then you shall play core no more. Who? Wait, where did I just get? Oh, uh, is that young? Yeah, that's young mages. Of course not. Come again? Of course you should not have shown mercy. While you have already been shown that you can sometimes do the wrong thing, this does not erase the times in which your will was correct. Indeed, you are growing mages. The form you see before you is symbolic of this fact. Tell me, what do you see? Myself, many years ago. Of course, in many ways, you were different in many ways you will be. <laughs> you were different, and in many ways you will be different in the future. You are speaking of self-improvement. You know, I am speaking of growth. We all grow. This is a fact. Am I not a better person than I was then? No one can answer that honestly but you. But you are me true but I didn't say you will answer honestly only that you can the fact is most of the growth you will do in your lifetime is ahead of you assuming of course that you live to see it then what is it precisely that you are here to tell me that your convictions are important your will has always been strong but the trials you have yet to face will test your will ages it will test it it will test it sorely indeed this is not just another enemy I face. Doubt will, doubt will slay before a sword can see. So what trial should I face? Or shall I face? Eager to test that will of yours? Then let's try something you can't, you can't have seen coming. What sort of? Duh. Uh, what? Okay, so I am fighting my party, my other party members. Uh, this is weird. Okay, uh, I know Dark Embrace isn't gonna really do much to. Stagnate. This is awkward. This is the Avenger? Okay. Dragon form? Alright.
does so much damage to to Isis though. Armor curse, defense down. So who's almost dead? Actually, out of all of them, oh, Isis is almost dead. Tornado Fury. Guess I could do one more Shadane White, but then I'll have Isis heal. That's, this is kind of creepy. How? Why am I fighting myself? I just hope something. I just hope, like, if I kill one of them, that none of my other party members will die. Because I know something like this will happen in certain games. Uh, Isis, you need to heal. Not saying it will happen, but it's possible that they could have made it to where you defeat the other part, the enemy party of the same character. I do like this soundtrack though, it is really good. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, that does so much. Well, especially to Jelena because. And uh, I had just realized that in my let's play of this game a few years ago, I was pronouncing her name wrong the whole time it is pronounced Jelena <laughs> I'm such an idiot <clears throat> oh my god My, oh my god, Zeria is gonna die. She's like the only one ta tanking the attacks. Alright, so Krista is down. Please, someone hit Jelena so I can. I need to get rid of that stun. You know what? Here, I'll get rid of it then. Sacrificing in turn just so I can heal a status ailment. I don't know, to be honest, I, I prefer the uh, the old sprites, the old battle sprites. I prefer those more. And I also prefer what Jelena says every time she uses that attack. And you're dead. Mr. Kadar. Sixty thousand experience. Level seventy seven sixty six. That was unique.
it's funny like I could probably get my low party characters into these boss battles and increase their levels that way that'd be pretty awesome if I because I could probably do that actually um, yes I can but who's gonna be my who would technically be my healer I'm get, it'd have to be Aubriel. I forgot to put this mithril, uh, this Shadane bow on Sapphire. Here, let me go put back Isis. And then I'll put Drea. Because isn't she technically supposed to be canon to the... I mean, I know Drea is canon to the story, to the ending. But I want to know if she's actually canon to this bonus content. Probably not, but... Can Drea equip the lazy male? And no, she can't. Only Zeria. Yeah, only Zeria and mages can equip it. Hold on, I think Krista can also equip it. Let's get both Krista's and let me see if Kadar can actually equip it. Wait, did I put it back on? Okay. Shit. Okay, I know this is getting pretty boring for me to, to actually do this. But I just wanted to make sure they can equip. So only Zeria and Mages can equip the uh, uh yeah, can equip the uh uh, the lazy sword and the lazy uh, mail. But I'm giving it to mages though. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Sorry I wasted you guys' time. Gods help us all as we rest our hopes in Him. Baby crying. There goes Kadar. He's finally asleep. So Kadar has a baby now. Hmm. I'm too I I'm too soon to have a son. Of course we are. After all, looking into your deepest hope. I'll be honest, this is not at all what I would have expected. You do not expect to see your deepest hope, or is it not what you expected? Both, honestly. Knowing my son Kadar has it Knowing my son Kadar has a child to his own is not my greatest hope. It is a matter of tr of course. Really how so? He is the leader of a nation and from what I understand the apple of many a young Zelonian girl's eye. I fully expect that he will get married and have children. Hopes need not be unrealistic. Indeed, I just find this to be underwhelming. Why is that? My greatest desire. Uh, it is not some big revelation, nor something I ever gave more than a passing thought to. Not your greatest desire, but your deepest hope. Of course, she hadn't given it much thought. That is why it is deep. It is not a desire either, but a hope. You say it, uh, you say it is a matter of course that your son will marry and have children, but this is dependent on his survival, is it not? Hmm. So what are you saying is my hopes lunge, uh, yeah, my hopes lunge on Kadar's survival. That is an oversimplification. Uh, 
That is an oversimplification. Could R is represent is representative of your family and the baby future. So what parable is it is to be taught here? Not a parable, but a reflection. Here's a question to which I didn't I do not expect an actual answer, yet I asked for you to contemplate it. If you knew that Kadar was not to survive, that this possibility would never come to pass, what would you tell him? Is there no correct answer? Quite the contrary. There isn't an incorrect answer, but consider this. Whatever you say to your family members, knowing that they might not survive coming war, the coming war, perhaps you should say it. Are you prophesizing the demise of our family that will that we will lose? I am no prophet. I am a part of you, after all. But to be effective, you must hope for the best. And prepare for the worst. And now you must press onwards. Okay. And uh there's a uh, Anari. I have a great cutlass once worn by Krista Ayer, but of whom did it be once belong? Fuck, uh. Ignorance will be your undoing. What? Did I get that wrong? Erkietis. Guess I got it wrong. Cause that happened so long ago, I don't remember that. <clears throat> Sickle strikes. Okay. That's pretty strong for a person for an enemy that can't take a hit. I'm gonna heal. Cause I don't trust it. This uh, next attack that it might do. And I think this uh, last attack will finish it off. Yep. <clears throat> oh my god, one experience point. Alright, so let me... I got it wrong again. Alright guys, I'm back. I know I got that question wrong. But it is going to be from Rune, correct? You may proceed. I should have guessed that from the beginning. Erdrin was Rune's father. Er, yeah, I believe. Alright, D-San, let's answer your question. Among your number is a vampiress of great power. From where did she initially hail? Fuck, man. Uh, I'm gonna guess Baldrace. Okay. All right, so it's still the same. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's go ahead and try and get this question right. Now, I don't remember where fucking Drea came from. See Solarian. Correct, you may proceed good. Alright. Uh I forgot her name. Sh I didn't even read the question. Shit. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Now I will read the question carefully and thoroughly. To whom did the Dark Sisters owe their allegiance? Fuck. Um, I know it's not Anto. It can't be Xeon, so it has to be Zexor. Right. Here we get a boss. These look like the characters we just fought, like in the first. Oh well. I have to heal up my mana anyway. 
I wanted to heal first, but the game didn't let me. So. <laughs> oh, fucking negate. It doesn't do anything, really. Because I can just. Because once I have enough MP, I can just, like, fucking. Please do not heal. Fuck you. Heal the gargoyle type creature thing. I, I don't even know. I do have full ethers, which is. Uh... So that's pretty good. Magic green. The other thing, the other person's almost dead. Well, actually, I wouldn't say almost dead, but. I seriously should have at least brought one of my low level characters, probably Krista, if she can. Uh, Krista with a K, that is. <laughs> and have her withstand some attack. <laughs> That's if I could just ever keep her alive. All I can tell. All I can. If I were to put Krista with a K into the party, I could leave her dead. Until, like, the boss has, like,. Really low HP to the point where I can take it out in, in a couple of hits. Revive Krista with a K. Because Krista with a K is level 1 because of my stupidity. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. In fact, I probably will do that too. Right, the other boss is dead. I need to get rid of this, uh, negate, though. Shadade mines. I can't wait to actually do Conquest of the Dark Lord Episode 2, War of the Abyss. It, it's taking me so long to do that because I wanted to wait until I was actually done with episode one of this game you know play the game and then do the bonus content which I haven't gotten to do up until earlier as of this video is being made uh, because I, I had to replay the game to its fullest try to get all the stuff that I had uh, from my from my let's play of the game and uh, and just kind of just try to mimic everything I had done a few years ago into um, doing this let's play again but I did end up making a video showcasing uh, me getting the lazy mail and sword uh, lazy mail and sword yeah I did make a video about that because I, I had mentioned I was gonna redo the game because I really wanted to do the end game stuff so yeah that's why it's taking me such that that's why it's taking me forever to do episode 2 uh, where the abyss because I still wanted to complete episode 1 stop evading my attack you faggot uh Sepetonus. and you're dead I love this track though, it's so good. Let's heal up. Let's go ahead and save our game. The capacity for mercy is the greatest strength, but also the rarest. I remember this. I don't know what's here. I suppose I should press on then. You know what? Let me actually do that. Let me put Krista with a K in my party. See how much leveling she can get done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see how much leveling she can get done with just uh, being at level 1. 
I remember this area. I hate this area. I'm surprised there aren't any enemies here. Nope. Okay. A spider. Let's see. Uh, you're a spider. Oh, but, oh my god. Don't attack Crystal and K right now. So we'll see how much experience she'll get just from this one battle alone. I already reached level two. Oh, ten levels, nice. <laughs> or oh, nine levels, my bad. Mega Ether, not bad. So. It's just these enemies, I guess. We have to, you know, fight them. Do not attack Krista with a K. And everything will be No! <laughs> no! I can't. I can't allow that to happen. Sorry. I just can't. One should they might should kill them. Yep. I should have healed Krista at least. <laughs> 13 level or uh, three levels so just trying to get her back up to where she was at because the level was like eh Okay. Z potion. Yeah, it's just like that one other area that we had to go through. Whenever we get through a treasure chest, there'll be some enemies. So, that's basically what we're doing right now. Quick and scroll. Okay, not bad. There is a safe area. Okay. Phoenix Tears. Good. I needed some of those. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a web right there, like a spider web, so that's probably why the spider came at me. Anyways, let's go ahead and heal up. And uh, let me switch out my party members really quick, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and continue on with going through the nightmare. So, with that being said, the guy Ross is signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, do what you gotta do to get your game on. See you later.